My name is Lidi Vindestre. I'm a European Travel Commission China Operation Group Chairwoman. I'm also Wallonia Belgium Tourism Board China Market. There has been a huge increase in the number of Chinese travelers these recent years. So we expect it to continue in the future. In 2018, it was the EU China Tourism Year, and we had uh, 14 million Chinese tourists, which is an increase of uh, around 4.7 percent compared to 2017. So we really hope it will continue like that in the future. Uh, we still have uh, uh, groups of Chinese coming to Europe, but we can see a huge increase in the number of independent travelers who are going by themselves and who would travel and visit fewer countries uh, than in the past. So in the past, there might be six to seven countries. Now it's decreasing and it's going to two to three countries. Now it's the third time already. Yeah, we have been here from the very beginning. Um, I can say that there are um, good quality meetings. Uh, people take really the time to discuss with us. So it's a big difference from uh, the first time. Actually, the first three months of 2019 were still uh, in the framework of the EU China Tourism Year. So we did a few campaigns already uh, concerning this. Uh, we had, uh, for instance, a wave of farm trip to different countries in Europe. Uh, this can be considered as a good uh, promotion for the summer. As you know, we have been trying at the European Commission to um, make the visa policy easier. We have more and more visa application centers all over China, so that's what we are trying to do to make it easier for the Chinese tourists to come and come again to Europe. I would say something that uh, has touched me the most is that a lot of Chinese tourists were, uh, travel together in families, so with the parents and the grandparents. What I have noticed is also that it's changing a lot. It used to be huge group, now it's becoming smaller groups. Oh, and they don't bring cash anymore. The Chinese tourists pay everything with WeChat. That's something, maybe WeChat or Alipay, that's something also very striking, different to uh, the other European tourists or other Western tourists, for instance. Well, we are trying to help our members to get it installed, and more and more places and regions get it. For instance, Brussels Airport, you can use uh, Alipay and you can use WeChat Pay. So we are trying to help our members to get those, and we did some, um, training to help the, the European uh, countries to know more about how the Chinese tourists behave and what kind of, for instance, payment method they use. And we're trying to help them to put that into, uh, into application. So we are trying to help them work with WeChat and uh, Alipay in the future. And I think more and more countries and regions are using it. I want to tell you that 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 I 在旅行中，去听见自己的声音；在旅行中，去相信自己的态度；去发现能让你感动的那个远方。二零一九首席旅行官，带你走到世界尽头。